Hello folks, welcome back to the Urban Rider Studio. Uh, so welcome back to a returning favourite. This is the Showy Glamster. And when I say favourite, I mean amongst the team, specifically myself and Will, because when we got shooting photography and video, we wear a Showy Glamster, we take it with us on those shoots. And you can see that from the product imagery we have on the website, for good reason. One, it is highly practical, it's very comfortable on, and it looks great in photos, let's be honest. But it's also really popular with you guys because it is one of our best sellers, and there are quite a few reviews of it on our website, and they're all overwhelmingly positive. Now this is the new version for 2023 going forward, and the big update is the fact that it now has passed ECE 2206 safety standards. If you look around the helmet, you'll find that not an awful lot has changed, and that is a good thing, because they pretty much nailed it first time out of the gate. All they've done is make it a little bit safer to pass these new, stricter safety standards. Generally speaking, what you'll find with helmets that do pass ECE 2206 is they are slightly thicker, which this is, but honestly, it's fractional, and they are slightly heavier, again, which this is. It's about 100 grams heavier than the outgoing version. What you'll often find also with the development of helmets over the years is that also adds some price. This one is slightly more expensive. It's about 40 pounds difference between them. This is now either 449 pounds 99 for the base colorways. And those are the same colorways as you'll find in the previous generation. Those are either gray, black, blue, or white. Or if you want one of their more intricate designs, which they've called Bivouac, they're 539 pounds 99. It's probably a good idea since I did mention the previous version to show you an example between the two in terms of the size difference. And honestly, it is so fractional between these two helmets. If you really do painstakingly look at them side by side, you can tell it is slightly larger, but all that ultimately means is that there is more helmet between your head and the road if you were to come off. And increased safety is never a bad thing. Ultimately though, it is still a small looking helmet. It's got a slim profile, even with the slightly larger shell. They use the same composition of shell. So it's their five layered AIM shell, which is a mixture of composite and organic fibers. And they offer it in three different shell sizes. So that also helps maintain a slimmer look. The other thing to say, and normally I'll leave sizing to the end, but let me address it now, is that they do obviously size the same. Showy is very consistent when it comes to their sizing, and they are one of the most universal fits that we've found within our team. Accessories also remain the same. So if, for example, you have a Showy Glamster and you're looking to get yourself a new one, the visors will fit across both helmets. Same too with the internals, the cheek pieces, and the liners. Now, one of the first things that impressed us with the Glamster originally is the fact that they've managed to put in so much practicality, but hide it in such a clean looking helmet. So you've got loads of vents across it. Let's start there, in fact. So you have these vents on your forehead, which you can open or close, and you have the exhaust vent around your neckline, so it tracks over the top of your head. You've also got vents at your chin. Now, those aren't closable, but they are at least on the sides of the helmet, so not directly into your face. The visor has a really nice quality to it. The same with the mechanism for opening and closing it. It locks into place easily. You can change the visor. You do need a screwdriver in order to do that, but it is a very easy helmet visor to change. Obviously, we've got the tinted version on this. You can get pin lock for either visor, but it comes with pin lock in the box for the clear visor that you get as standard. And obviously that's good because it stops the visor from misting up. It has really comfortable internals. That fully removable liner is very comfortable against your face. You also have emergency pull tabs for the emergency services. If you were to crash, they can get your helm off a lot easier without disturbing your head as much. It also comes with a removable chin curtain if you want to put it on there to cut down on wind noise, or you can obviously leave it off for increased airflow, and it has a double D-ring closure system around your neck. I can't personally think of any additional features I would like to see on it. It does not lack for anything. And obviously on top of that, it looks fantastic. The only thing you have is the showy brand across your forehead. You don't really have anything else on the sides or on the reverse. It is a really clean look. Check them out if you want to using the links in the description. Let us know what you think of it in the comments section or if you have one of these and you'd like to share your experience about it, then feel free to drop that down there as well. And keep an eye on our website because I'm sure we will get more colorways in the future. And the best place to find that is either on our website or on our Instagram. I will see you soon. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.